Next up, it's time for Live Forever. This week, to conquer my fear of death, me and Rose Matafeo went to see an art installation made up of actual dead bodies. Where have you brought me? I've brought you to look at some dead bodies. Not again. Have you ever seen a dead body before? I've seen Stand By Me. Does that count? <laughs> I'm scared I'm going to know one of them. Yes. Fuck that. Imagine be you bu bumped into an ex. Sweet Jesus. <laughs> Oh, there he is. That's an actual human being. I mean, you're drawn straight to the dick, aren't you? I mean, I'm eye level with the dick right now. I don't. Yeah. I didn't mean to kneel down there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Fuck. I. <laughs> Bro, they fucked you up. Yeah. They fucked you up. <laughs> when experiencing stress or danger, the entire body is in a heightened state of alertness. So this is a metaphor for stress. Right. When you're stressed, you might bite your fingernails. You might drink too much. I've never ripped my spine in half, chopped my dick in two, <laughs> and then done a star jump. Do you think, in a way, it makes you feel these bodies are temporary? But he... Life's a joke, feel the vibes. Uh, yes, I mean, that is an excellent way of looking at it. But he's forever going to be like something terrible happened on a trampoline. <laughs> Brains, baby. Oish. I have no connection to my body in the sense that I feel like I'm not going to die. See, I, I look at that, and that looks less part of me and more an awful meal. That looks like haggis. Mm -hmm. That looks a bit like liver. This looks like a wonderful, like, kind of cauliflower. Yeah. You wouldn't want to have a nap in here, would you? You wouldn't want to have a nap. You would wake up dead. They've got this man holding the globe out, and they've given him a flared anus. I had to talk to it. Is that Did what you? you? Yeah, yeah. Wanted to just have a conversation. There was nobody around here. I'd have my finger in that. I think so, yeah. And I'm not proud of that. I'm saying that's a problem, isn't it? So Do I... not tell me that your asshole doesn't look like that, right? Yeah, I need somebody to check. Yeah. <laughs> here we have good lungs and bad lungs. 20 cigarettes a day produces five ounces of tar annually, the volume of this coffee cup. I'm beginning to think that smoking's bad for you. It is. <laughs> See, there's real dignity to that. You look fantastic, honey. Mm -hmm. Should we have a look at her asshole, or is that not allowed? I, <laughs> I wouldn't do it to a woman if she was alive, unless she asked. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. It's, uh, there's that. It looks a bit like sort of a pen holder. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. That's uh, known in the game as uh, the reverse cowgirl. Oh, I know. You know just... I've, I've heard about it. <laughs> I've heard about that in Cosmo. I'd be into being this one. Yeah. Because you're immortalised as being an absolute legend. Yes. This is first date sex, for sure. It's like, what are we doing? You know, I don't even know you. And she's like, what up? Oh, my God, I just met you. I've got no skin. He's like, I know that. That's why we connect. Cool. I, yeah. That's an actual... Isn't it weird? Oh. That is very, very <laughs> Has this made you think about your own mortality? Absolutely, and I'm as scared as ever. So thanks for that. I'm going to go home, I'm going to put my phone on timer, mm -hmm. and I'm going to lift something heavy, and yeah. I'm going to get a photo of my anus. I want to get to know and respect my own anus. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get... I want to have respect. I've got the guest book. <laughs>